All right, so as I talk to all of you, most of you um, are doing really good. You've got your arteries on, you're starting to add your thematic elements to your piece. Um, and I promised a few of you that I would do a demo on a certain things. One, of, um, one person wanted me to show them how to make a chain link, and another person wanted me to show them how to make a crack in the piece. Um, and then what was the other thing? Oh my goodness, I'm forgetting the last thing. Let me think about it for a second. Um, if if you're listening and you're like, oh, it was mine, then unmute and tell me, and I'll keep thinking about it. But this is what I added the other day. I had a student that was making wanted a demo on how to make roses, and so I made this rose, and and then I thought, well, where am I going to put that on my piece? That doesn't really go. And then I thought, well, shoot, you know, it could be the the ring, right? We were talking about how the fourth finger. In, this, in the Roman folklore, right, was that the, the vein from the heart went through the arm and into the hand and through the, the ring finger, and that's why we wear the wedding band on that finger. So I thought, well, I can make the rose into the diamond part of the ring, and then I could put the band around the finger. So that's what I worked on the other day, and I like it. You know, it's clunky, it's chunky. It's right yeah. It Say that one more time, please. I, I didn't hear you. I was kind of talking over you. Can you repeat yourself? Okay. Well, give it another try. Um, so I've got I've got the diamond and the ring. So that's what I did the other day. Um, and then for you guys, I remember I carved on the finger here to make it look more realistic. Miss Greninger, I think you're muted. Oh, thank you. That's what you were trying to tell me. <laughs> okay, now I can hear you. Okay, Thanks. thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm gonna real quick just go over what I just said. So in class the other day, I um, they asked me to make a rose because someone was trying to add flowers to their piece. So I made a rose and I attached it, but I thought, well, what am I gonna do with a rose? It doesn't really go with my theme. And then I thought, well, actually I could make turn it into the diamond on the ring. So I added the rose on the ring finger and then I added a band around the finger. Just reminding you my theme is that Roman folklore that your heart is attached. Um, the vein from your heart goes through your arm into the wedding ring finger, and that's why we wear the ring on that finger. So that's the theme. Um, and then I told someone I would make a chain link, and then I also told someone I would make a crack in the heart. And then there was a third thing, and I'm forgetting what it is now, so if you, if you remember what that is, please tell me. So I'm gonna do the chain link thing first. Um, so by the end of the weekend, I want you guys to be done with the adding anything wet to your piece. Um, the reason for that is next week we're gonna start letting it dry a little bit and get leather hard so that we can really start doing the carving work that we need to do. Okay, so this is for Agnes. Um, chain link, you need a pretty pretty wet piece of clay because you're going to be rolling your um, coil into a pretty thin coil and you're going to be bending it a lot and attaching it so it needs to be pretty wet. I wouldn't make it too tiny or it's going to be really fragile. So let's just kind of bend this around and figure out well how how long does one link have to be and then I'll use that as my measure for several other lengths and I'll just cut a few. going to be pretty chunky because you have to not only attach it to chain link's going to be tricky because it's going to dry so fast that it's going to want to shrink and crack around whatever you're doing so you're going to have to actually like physically attach it to your heart as well so it's it's a very challenging um, addition to your heart but we should never back down on our challenges we should we should go with our ideas and try to make it happen Okay, so this is the fun part. This reminds me of making daisy chains in school where you take the flower and you, you wrap it around another link. So this is the part that's gonna take some work is really attaching those links. So I'm scoring both ends here and then I'm using my water and I'm really kind of attaching those well and then I could just take my finger and smooth it and compress it. You know, just a really wet piece of clay. You can go in and maybe carve on it later 
once it gets leather hard, but for now you need it to be um, pretty wet. Okay, so now I've got this one, but before I close this one, I have to add the next chain. So now this is what I have, and then I have to kind of thread that one in there before I close this one. When I was a little girl, I there were these weird like sprinklers in the the yard, kind of the big lawn area where I went to school in elementary school. And inside the sprinkler there was kind of like this big dirt area around the sprinkler. And I remember my friends and I would go and find these little <laughs> these little areas and turn them into little fairy homes. Um, we would make all this furniture out of flowers and leaves and stuff and we'd make these little fairy homes inside the sprinkler dirt patch. It's just kind of a <laughs> strange story but you know maybe kind of an origin story as to how I ended up making all of these little things in ceramics. Alright so you, I'm going to put one more on there and then you know anyone can do this. This is Agnes's idea but if you like the concept of piecing together something that is sort of linked and chained together like this, you know, you can get creative with how you do it. The, the trick and the key really is to attach them well and know that they're going to shrink quickly and uh, a lot. This is going to take some time though. See, I've only made one, two, three, four. I'm not going to attach that one because I would have to keep going. It's endless. So how, once I have this, well, how do I add it to my piece? Well, my piece is going to have a lot of themes here. I could, <laughs> this is double a double metaphor, right? You know, the wedding band could be a, a symbol of a flower or it could be the symbol of a chain. Aha. All right, let's see. I don't know. Can we add them both on there as the, as, the, as the diamond? Is that weird? So I just want to show you, I'm getting too excited about this theme here. I just want to show you if you were to add this to your piece, you can't just kind of wrap it around your piece and call it done because it's going to shrink and it's going to start cracking around this piece. So you actually physically have to attach it. So I'm going to lay it on here and pretend like, you know, it's just sitting on the hand but I'm actually going to make a mark as to where it's touching and then I'm going to pull it off and score and I'm going to actually attach it. If you do this then you'll less it's less likely that it'll break off and um, crack. But you know babysit it. You want to keep these a little bit more moist than your big heart form because that's going to dry slower. I'm going to find where I had this. It's kind of tricky here. Ooh, they moved on me. Okay, and then I'm going to squish it down, but that's not enough. I can't just squish it on there and expect it to stay. I need to actually take a tool, like this little wooden knife tool, and I'm going to attach it, physically drag that clay Oops. Physically drag that clay from the chain onto the heart. And at first it just looks kind of bad because you can tell you've attached it, but you can go back in and um, carve a fake uh, separation. And I'm only going to attach it, you know, where I think it needs be attached. Okay and then as I go through I could use that tool or I could use another tool like this loop tool here is great for this kind of stuff and I'm just going to create a fake separation there so it looks like it's not attached but it really is. Ceramics is kind of all about fooling the eye. Say it's not it's made out of wood not clay. It's made out of metal not clay. It's made out of the tissue and the blood of a heart, not clay. 
by mimicking textures we do this okay so there's the chain link it's attached it's on there pretty good looks cool all right now I was going to show um, I can't remember who needed to see this but I think it was maybe um, Rapina that wanted to crack open the piece so where do I want to put that crack so my piece is pretty much leather hard so I can actually do this without it breaking I'm gonna put a little crack in there and I think it might be it could possibly be like going up to the vein in the hand so I'm gonna take this pumpkin carver because I think it's a really great tool and I'm gonna I'm going to saw into that hand. I know it's like intense to watch this. But I'm going to saw into it and I'm going to just kind of cut out a little sliver. Like, a, like I'm carving a pumpkin. And I'm going to pop that out or carve it out, right? You might need to actually like get a loop tool and dig it in there and like here it is. So I pop that out. So now I have this pretty deep fissure here and I'm going to kind of like carve into that a little bit. I mean, of course you guys are using the tools that you have. You might not have one of these, you might have just a, a butter knife from home or something you found in your drawer that would be a good play tool. So this looks pretty neat actually. Oh, I remember Mac wanted me to show stitches. That's the, that's the third thing I was going to show. And these are things we can work on next week. You know, I, I do want you to add most of the clay pieces, but if you're still working on um, details and carving, you can add little things um, that are still wet to your leather hard piece. Just little things because they'll dry quick. Okay, so I've cut that, that crack, and you can make that crack as big as you want. You know, mine is, I'm not gonna make it too big. I actually had an idea that maybe I would make that vein that comes up, come out through this crack and kind of, maybe you could even like, you could see it in this and then it will come out the artery. I don't know, I haven't quite decided that yet, but all of these additions are giving me ideas. Okay. Um, stitches this heart this poor heart <laughs> this heart's been through a lot lots of things chains cracks roses stitches okay where am I gonna put the stitches maybe along this finger and this chamber here that would be pretty cool so uh, Mac and I talked about you know what it would it look like if you stitched a thread with a needle through something and it was kind of coming out and going in so this is kind of fun so I'm going to make these stitches relatively large. So I'm going to actually take this needle tool, or loop tool, and I'm going to make a hole in the heart. And wherever I want the stitch to go in and out, I'm going to make a hole. And maybe I'll do four of them. Maybe I'll have it come over this chamber and kind of go there. Okay, and then I'll score preemptively. I'll score. You might want to affect this a little bit, like maybe you um, kind of smooth it out, and or you could add a little coil to it. Then I'm going to take some wet clay, and I'm going to make a tiny. And this is another thing that's going to you have to consider. If you make a tiny little coil thread, it's going to dry really quick. And it's going to dry a lot faster than the body of your heart and I guarantee you it will it has potential for cracking as it dries especially if you don't attach it to your piece well okay so I have this tiny little thread and I've scored the inside of these holes I'm gonna score them again and I'll use my paintbrush to drop a little water in there And then I'm going to score the end of this thread and I'm going to like actually physically drop it in there. 
so I, it's hard to show you this up close. I don't think my thread needs to be that long, so I'm going to pick it up. You see how neat that looks? It's coming out of the hole. Looks like a worm right now. Okay, and then I'm going to I'm going to put it in this hole, so I'm actually can break it, and then I think I'm going to score and attach it against the finger here. This will make guarantee that it becomes a texture and not something that's going to shrink and crack. And then I'm going to score the end of this. I'm going to put a little bit of water down there. And I'm going to drop it in there. And then later on when this gets a little bit more leather hard, I can carve this to look much thinner than it does now. I can actually carve it to make it look like a thread. If I want to be extra good, I can attach it with a tool. So I know for sure that is not going to shrink and crack off that piece. And then again go back in and do a little carving and create that sort of fake separation line. So there you go. And, you, and it would come out of this hole and go into that one. So we could do that too. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to stop this demo and publish your checkout.